We and fit. Mm-hmm. Two, we fit, we fit. Uh. We fit. We fit. <laughs> uh. Welcome to One Elimination Under Podcast. Here we are with my buddy D'Angelo. Yes, in the flesh, never best, never better. Never better than never in better the flesh, than right? In the flesh. You know, little background. D'Angelo, did you want to tell everybody uh, how many how many hours of sleep are you on? What is that? Uh, I'd say like fifty-seven minutes. Are you sure it's not fifty-eight? It was probably fifty-eight, but it is what it is. I'm working. I'm alive. There you are. I'm I'm going. I think I'm going too. I'm alive as yes, well. Yes. So <laughs> it's about um, what time is it? Nothing that's like a mystery. Mm-hmm. You don't want to tell everybody what time it is exactly. So when we didn't, because it's about eleven. It's about eleven. It's about. It's not. We're not going to tell exactly what it is. Yep, so. yep, yep. But I'm I'm super excited you're here. This is awesome. So a little background, D'Angelo. Uh, he's ripped, um, which is why I chose to go ahead and uh, and interview him today. Because he's going to go ahead and help us figure out what we can eliminate from our minds, our habits, diets, whatever. Whatever we're doing wrong, so we can go ahead and, and give more energy to doing something right. Yep, yep. Um, I know on our last podcast, I talked with West. he was kind of more spiritual. Not that we're not, hey, <laughs> but we're going to focus on the physical parts here, all right? Because it requires a lot to go ahead and be a successful human being on this right, planet, right? Right, right. So, uh... Let's talk to everybody. Introduce yourself a little bit. Uh, D'Angelo, as you said. Um, that's with the capital A. Oh, boom. Jello. Got to go ahead and change my contacts. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, I've been working out since since been working out. I fell in love with working out in high school, you know, hit the weights um, with football. And once I saw the progress that I could make with weights and uh, what I can do with my strength, I pretty much fell in love with it. I've always, I've always been the smaller guy, you know. I've always been smaller, um, smallest guy on my team, smallest guy in the room, always shortest, skinniest, and I kind of got tired of that. And I knew I wasn't growing taller anytime soon, so yeah. I'm like, might as well grow wider, you know. Nice, so nice. I fell in love with lifting. Then um, I've always been working out since I was 11, just body weight stuff. 11? 11. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, and. Uh, I just do it for the love of it, you know? And then I started lifting weights when I was 13 and never stopped since then. It's like, I don't have to force myself to work out. It's like, when you wake up and brush your teeth, you wake up and take a shower. It's like, I wake up and work out, you know? Word. It's just part of my life. That is awesome. You know, so whether I'm happy, I work out, I'm sad, I work out, depressed, excited, nervous. Yeah. Every, you, for me, that's, that's, that's my way of, that's my release. And since I can, since it is my release, I believe that, I can help other people get to a, close enough to a point to where it can be their release as well. Okay. Because I feel like no matter what you're doing, you got to be fit. Exactly. During it. Yeah, and you don't have to start at 11 years old. Let's not scare everybody here. All no, right? no, so you, you, def- you definitely do have to start at 11. Oh. <laughs> if you don't, you're, you're screwed pretty much. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you can turn off the, the cameras now. It's over for you guys. So. I mean, but it's, it's, it's almost true because, you know, people, people see me and they're like, oh, man, that's like... How do you get your arms so big? Blah blah blah. I'm just like, man, it's time, man. It's time. Yeah, it's nothing but time. That's you know? true. It's like, even, you know, my future clients, friends, whatever, anyone that I can give advice to, they're never gonna be able to automatically just get an, an get an amazing physique or or physique like mine just like in a year or yeah. three months. You know, they can de- make huge progress compared to where they are now, but. Nothing replaces time. Totally. You know? and, and speaking of time and habits, like, I guess give everybody a little bit of um, kind of insight. Do you work out like multiple hours a day or is, for you is it more about just frequency? Like do you just work out a little bit every day and now you're at a maintenance stage and it's that habit that kind of made you where you are now? I would say it's more so a little bit every day. Okay. Because some, some days I don't go to the gym. Yeah. I'm normal just like you and everyone else, you know. Um, I feel like there's this, there's this scare, I guess you can say, when it or fear when it comes to working out, that like I, if I don't hit the gym five times a week, I'm, 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 I'm I can't be fit, you know. Um, but that's not that's not necessarily true. I don't hit the gym every day. Some days I don't feel like it, and so I don't. 
and <laughs> And um, every day I don't feel like it, so I don't. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, then then that's when you get into some issues. You gotta you gotta find that balance. But I would say it's more so a little bit every day. And if we focus on a little bit every day, eventually that little bit every day is gonna turn into a lot in that month. You know, right? I mean? Yeah, totally. Um, and instead of stressing over, I gotta go to the gym at this time for two hours every day. That's gonna be stressful. It's gonna become unfun, and then you're not gonna do it. That's with anything, you know. But if you don't put that much pressure on yourself, then you're fine. Just like, you know what? My goal today is to get exercise. My goal today is to exercise. Yeah. My goal today is not to sit in the gym for an hour because some buff dude online told me told me that that's what he does or that's what you should do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Granted, if you really want to reach a fitness goal in a specific amount of time, yeah, you got to put in more time. But that's specific to what you're doing at the time. But for, for the, everyday, the everyday Joe, including myself, it's more so just a little bit every day. Cool. Okay. So we do a little bit every day. And since this is one elimination under podcast, what would be like the number one thing you can kind of eliminate, you know, either it could be habit or just diet, something like that, that makes this easier to kind of keep this everyday thing going? One thing that everyone can eliminate or myself? Um, yeah. We'll say yourself and then, you know. Um um and that that could even be something like um like a mindset you know mm -hmm. what do you think think? i I would say if it was one thing to that i would suggest the person who's having a hard time getting to the gym or going to the gym or staying consistent with the gym one thing they could eliminate out of their life to make that easier would be you know and you're speaking to a wide swath of people that, you know, they're always just looking for an excuse to mm-hmm. not go or to not do something. Yeah. Why? Because it's just, you know, it's just that sometimes it's just that little 5% that's just holding you back. You know, that just a little bit of taking action. What maybe for you helps you get your your shorts on for the day and be like, okay, I'm, I'm working out today. Doing it. Just doing it. Like the days, like when I wake up at four thirty in the morning and I got and I'm trying to get to the gym by five, so I can yeah. get it done by six, get home at six fifteen, and get ready for work. God. You're just doing it. <laughs> that right? is doing it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like that's what I found is that once you wake up and you start thinking about it, mm-hmm. oh. you 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 open up that door for the possible because anything's possible, right. right? Yeah. And as soon as you get up and you don't just do it. As soon as you don't just do it, I'm talking like you wake up out of bed and you get up out of bed and you take that breath and you're like, ah, I got to go to the gym. As soon as you have that thought, yeah, yeah. Like, oh man, now I got to go to the gym now. Then your brain's going to try to find ways out of it because you're, you're already telling yourself subconsciously that you don't want to, you don't actually want to do this, but you have to do this. So you're forcing yourself to do it. So what I do literally get up, you, you have your shorts and your gym stuff ready. Don't even think about it. Don't even, you don't even know why you're doing it at this point. You're oh, so tired. Great. You're like, I'm just putting my shorts on. I don't know why, don't know why but I'm putting my <laughs> shorts on. Oh, now I got my workout shoes on and I'm walking out the door. I'm still half asleep, but I'm in my car, half asleep. But I'm in my I'm in my car. Hell yeah, I'm in my car. They go to the gym and then and then worry about it and then complain. Complain while you're on the treadmill. Complain while you're doing dumbbell lifts. Complain then, because then when you're done, you're probably. I've done workouts where like even when I'm finished, I'm like, man, I like, I just want to get the hell out of here. But at the end of the day, when I leave, I, I did it. You did it. I'm done. And by it's the end over. of the day, for you, is like when most people are not even up yet. Because you're done at like 6.15, yeah, 6.30. Exactly. That's great. So what you're talking about is just eliminating any sort of thought at all. Mm-hmm. That isn't just automatic, I get up, I do this. Because yeah. the moment you start thinking about it, you're, you're, you're done. Mm-hmm. Right? You're, you're allowing yourself time to uh, give up. You're, you're allowing yourself time to back out. Because that, that we do that as humans. We... Uh, we justify there we it. go yeah we, we make it okay like ah well oh i earned this today i yeah. earned or like oh, i woke up at i was supposed to wake up at 4 30 i woke up at 5 and then i start thinking like oh well i mean that then i'm gonna be back at 6 30 instead of 6 15 and then I, nah, i'm just i'm just and then before you know it you talk yourself out of it and and it feels okay so you're okay with it you know what i mean yeah yeah you're okay with it and then yeah, and you want to eliminate that by not even thinking about that's it that's awesome and just doing and actually that's kind of like what we were talking about before we even start recording this it's just overthinking in general with people just kind of like holds you back especially in a, a world that moves so fast mm-hmm. it's like and your world's moving so fast that you're a part of you, you don't want it to pass you by exactly so you gotta hack that 
Yep. So yep. boom, <clears throat> that's awesome, man. Cool. I had goosebumps when we were talking about that. Honestly, about like oh, wait, for yeah. real, like waking up early and then just like not thinking, just forcing yourself to do it. Man. Because you know what I've noticed, man? It's like it's it's one of those things. It, it, it's even as simple as like you just do shit. You just do. <laughs> you just do, and, that, and, that, and that's what it is. Just you know? do it, right? It's do <laughs> it right. Do it. <laughs> so so let's suppose that somebody is taking this advice that we're talking about, and they're mm-hmm. they're just doing it. And they, they create this habit for themselves. When can they kind of define for themselves, like, oh, now I guess I'm technically fit. Like, what would you say is kind of like, oh, I'm at the maintenance stage now, you know? And, of course, that doesn't have to necessarily be how you look. It could just be like, oh, I'm happy with the results I'm getting as far as, like, you know, mm-hmm. the toning of my body or... Right, yeah, I know what you, I know what, I know what you mean. Um what I would what I would determine fit is whatever it will make you whenever you feel good ah, whenever you feel good yeah and it, 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 there's no look to it and that could be confident in front of you know mm-hmm. ladies dudes whatever your thing mm-hmm. you know or in front of a mirror you know uh, my fit is different from your fit yeah and your fit is different from the next person's fit you know why because my fit like now people see me like oh man you're in such great shape your body's amazing blah yeah. blah blah but to me, I'm like, nah, dude, I'm sloppy right now. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fit to myself right now. Right. Yeah. To me, in my mind. Okay. Cool. So I would say fit would just be more so uh, uh, a feeling. If you feel good, and 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 you and you're gonna know if you're at that maintenance stage. You know, like myself, um, I don't feel f- like at my full potential. I definitely feel fit, but not at my full potential. Um, well, you're gonna pretty much you're gonna know when you're at that maintenance stage. Yeah. Like, and when and and that's what you want to get to. I yeah. feel like that's what people should strive for. Strive for maintenance. Strive for progress. Strive for strive for maintaining. You know, you just gotta maintain, and that that maintenance turns into the car that runs forever. Right. You know? Yeah. If you don't if you don't put maintenance on your car every now and then, even if your car's running fine, and in this case, your car running fine is fit, right? So yeah. even if your your car, your body, you is running fine. And, and you don't keep up with the maintenance, right? Oh, yeah. And over a year, it may be running fine, but really deep down, it's not really running fine, you know? Like, some eventually, something's about, to, something's about to break, right? So, in terms of our body, if we don't just put in that maintenance every now and then, you know, just maintain it, then when our, our, our bodies, our, our car, our, in this case, our bodies, yeah. are going to break down sooner than, than, they, than they're... And then they can't, then they should. Okay, pretty cool. Much. And you'll know because you'll feel guilty. You'll feel like you just ate that piece of cake, mm-hmm. all right? And it ain't, it ain't leaving your cake, you know what I'm saying? I will leave your cake, though. <laughs> so we'll just, I, I guess we'll just end up with the with this question here. I know that both men, women, whatever, there's like one zone, right, that's like really hard. And I know mm-hmm. you've people have come up to you and be like, hey, D'Angelo, help me out with this part. Mm-hmm. What part is that? And what's something you can suggest real quick to help out with that? I would say that part would be the lower the lower abdominals mm. you know the yeah. lower abs is probably like one of the toughest areas to lose weight in and keep weight off and gain muscle in even for myself um that yeah i would say that's the main area um to help out anyone who's just lost first off i just want to put out there that i'm no i i know what i'm doing yeah but i'm not the first one who did it i'm not going to be the last one to do it and this is not information that hasn't been around before. And it's not information that someone didn't teach me. It's okay, but we're educating. Right. Yeah. So I will say this. We live in a world now where you don't necessarily need me, any other personal trainer, or anybody else to tell you how to be fit with your life. Because we got this thing called Google no. and the internet. Oh, my God. You, you ever heard of that? It's I, insane. I think I've heard of it. It's this really cool thing. You can, like, find out anything in, like, two seconds. That's crazy. So, <laughs> so, but seriously though, I mean that that's what it is. If if you want to learn how to target any area on your body, mm. you can literally c- condone a search for that. Put in a little bit of time, thirty minutes, whatever. If you if you're really serious about it, yeah, and you can find a plethora of of of, of, of information that's going to give you exactly what you nice. need. With that, I will say, um, to target that area. That's gonna be a huge dieting area in the kitchen. So mm. the kitchen's gonna be number one. Okay. Um, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I ain't got a kitchen. <laughs> um, uh, high high intensity interval training, also known as HIT training, which is which is just a b- bunch of quick quick movements, um, because that's gonna help burn 
burn calories overall and nice. shape your, your body overall. And that's going to get you in that fat burning stage quick, yeah, right? exactly. Get your metabolism going quickly. Cool. And then you want to go with the, with the normal classic, you know, uh, lower ab workouts, leg raises, knee raises, um, on, the, on the exercise ball, leg raises. Um, you can do leg raises for, for girls or for people who are uh, beginner or, or intermediate, not so much advanced. They can start with one leg. And, you know, it, it may not seem like you're working much. And honestly, you're probably you're not. But it's better than not doing anything. One leg yeah. raises. One leg leg raises. Um, and, and, yeah, man, I mean, I, I, I feel those are the the staple workouts. That's fantastic. When it comes to the lower abs. Awesome. But like you. I said, you can definitely go online and find a, a bunch of great workouts. People are very creative. You can even create your own. For sure. And, again, it's just about getting in that habit, right? Mm-hmm. Don't stop yourself. You know, if that's what you really want to do, that's that's your goal. Go ahead and do it. You know, that's great habitualization. So, well, thank you so much. This has been awesome, uh, D'Angelo. Um, I know we got a lot of cool stuff in the works. Obviously, this is part of it. You know, we're recording this, getting people amped, yep, kind yep. of figuring out our stuff. So, where can people find out more about you on social media? Um, you can hit me up on YouTube. Okay. Uh, my YouTube is D'Angelo's Town. So D E A N. G E L O S Town. All right, T O W N. That's my YouTube channel. I have a few videos on there about a, a, like a vlog, just uh, following me around day to day. Um, I've, I did that for a while. Um, I have motivational workout videos on there. I have Instagram is D'Angelo D'Angelo Body Fit. Uh, same thing. You can uh, see my physique there. Some of the workouts I do um, when I when I when I'm out at the gym you, that you can do at home. Uh, body weight exercises because I, I love body weight exercises and uh yeah hit me up on hit me up on social media that's that's where you can find me nice all right cool man well i hope you guys enjoyed this it was awesome we're gonna go ahead and finish off with a real quick davy the handshake so thank you thank let's, you let's go ahead Thanks and give for the, uh, me. the presidential smile there <laughs> 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 all right until next time guys peace, peace.